So we're starting things off right now with a microphone test. So what you're currently listening to is a sample of the microphones on the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And now what you're listening to is a sample of the microphones of the original OnePlus Buds Pro. So you should be able to tell if they sound any different or if they sound the exact same. Not sure about you guys, but to me, they sound pretty much the exact same. So in terms of microphone performance, I wouldn't really say that you're at an advantage going with one versus the other. So let's go ahead and finish taking a look at the Buds Pro 2 and we'll talk about how they stack up to the original Buds Pro and hopefully help you answer the question if you should upgrade. Now, as far as the case, exact same shape, exact same size, exact same design. Um, it does still support wireless charging as well as Type-C charging on the back and it still has that crazy fast charging feature which will give the case 10 hours with just 10 minutes of being plugged in. So super, super clutch. And then as far as the earbuds, placing them in the case for 10 minutes will give you three hours of use compared to the two hours of use on the original Buds Pro. So you're getting an additional hour from just 10 minutes of the Buds being in the case. So if you're short on time and you need some extra juice, these can definitely take care of you. Now, one thing that's really cool about both of these cases is that they're IPX4 water resistant. So most companies give you a certain level of water resistance for the earbuds, but very few also give you a level of water resistance for the case as well. So it's nice to have that peace of mind that if you get one of these slightly wet, it's going to hold up just fine. In terms of the earbuds, both of these are IP55 dust and water resistant. So again, pretty much whatever you throw at them, they are going to stand up just fine. Just make sure that you don't completely submerge them underwater. As far as the earbuds, again, same shape, same design. They're using the stem style with the squeeze controls along the stem. And speaking of the squeeze controls, they do work really well, very responsive, very easy to use. My only gripe is that you don't have volume controls. So within the Hey Melody app, you can do some customization as far as the layout of the controls. But like I said, you don't have the option to add volume controls. So if you need to control the volume of your music, you do have to reach for your Bluetooth device. Just like before, these do have wearing detection. So if you have both earbuds in your ear listening to music, if you remove one, your music will automatically pause. And then once you place it back, it'll automatically resume. So the Buds Pro 2 are running Bluetooth 5.3 and they also support Google Fast Pair. So if you're on an Android device, you get that very easy, seamless pairing process. Whereas on the original Buds Pro, you got that same experience as long as you were using a OnePlus device. So if you're not using a OnePlus Android device, you're still going to get that seamless Bluetooth connection. Just like the original, the Buds Pro 2 do have multi-point connection. So you're able to connect to two devices at the exact same time. Considering the overall price point, I would say that is a must have feature. So it's nice to see them include that right out of the gate compared to last time when they added it through a firmware update. Now, in terms of latency performance, the Buds Pro 2 do have a dedicated gaming mode, which OnePlus claims will give you performance as low as 54 milliseconds, which is a tad bit better than the 94 milliseconds that they claim for the original. Now, keep in mind that those numbers are going to be when paired with a OnePlus device. So for me, I have a Samsung as well as an iPhone, so I can't really tell much difference in terms of latency performance between the two. But again, that could be because I don't have a OnePlus device. In terms of battery life, the Buds Pro 2 are giving you slightly better numbers with a maximum of nine hours on a single charge. That's going to be with active noise cancellation turned off. With active noise cancellation turned on, that number drops down closer to around six hours. With the original Buds Pro, you're getting a maximum of about seven hours on a single charge. And with noise cancellation turned on, that drops down closer to five. So just slightly better numbers with the Buds Pro 2. But like I said earlier, both are giving you the fast charging feature. So if you need some emergency battery life, both have you covered. So let's go ahead and talk about the most important aspect, which is obviously sound quality. So right off the bat, I will say that the Buds Pro 2 do have the advantage in terms of sound 
because they have a dual driver setup. So they've got an 11 millimeter driver as well as a six millimeter driver compared to a single 11 millimeter driver on the original Buds Pro. The Buds Pro 2 are also compatible with the latest LHDC codex to give you high resolution audio. But that's only applicable if you have a phone that's also compatible with those codecs. So for me, again, Samsung iPhone, that doesn't apply. You also have spatial audio with head tracking on the Buds Pro 2, but as of right now, it's only supported through the OnePlus 11 and apparently other OnePlus devices will get access to it in the future. Now, when it comes to customizable EQ, definitely some similarities compared to the original Buds Pro. So you're still able to go through a hearing test in which the earbuds will basically come up with a custom sound profile just for you. And then on top of that, you've got access to a handful of EQ presets as well as a fully customizable six band EQ. Now, one of the key features inside of the app is going to be the new bass wave option. So if you do pick up the Buds Pro 2, you wanna make sure to update to the latest firmware, and that's gonna make sure you have access to this bass wave feature inside of the Hey Melody app. And pretty much what this does, it adds a little bit more depth and body to the overall bass. So if you are somebody that enjoys a little bit, you know, stronger bass in your music, I definitely think you're gonna like the Buds Pro 2 compared to the original version, especially if you go with the bass preset and turn on the bass wave feature on top of that, it really takes the bass to a level that you can't really duplicate with the original version. And that's just gonna be due to the design of having the dual drivers. So if we're talking strictly sound quality, I do prefer the Buds Pro 2 over the original Buds Pro. Now let's go ahead and talk active noise cancellation and transparency mode. So the Buds Pro 2 are claiming around 48 decibels of noise cancellation compared to 40 decibels on the Buds Pro. And in terms of actual real world use, I will say that you can notice a very slight improvement, but certainly not enough to justify, you know, just dropping the Buds Pro to get these. So if noise cancellation is your main priority, you would be better off with something like the AirPods Pro 2 or the Bose QuietComfort 2. In terms of transparency, it's solid. It definitely gets the job done. If you need to be more in tune with your surroundings, it's going to help you do that. But again, if that's a priority, I would probably recommend the AirPods Pro 2. They just seem to be the best when it comes to transparency mode. So getting back to the original question, if you're somebody that has the OnePlus Buds Pro, should you upgrade to the OnePlus Buds Pro 2? And honestly, I would say no. The Buds Pro 2 do sound better in my opinion, but aside from that, there's just not enough there to justify paying an additional 180 bucks to make the switch. Now, if you don't own either of these, then no question, I would say go ahead and pick up the Buds Pro 2. Otherwise, I would just wait for the Buds Pro 2 to go on sale and I would upgrade at that point. So that pretty much covers it for today's video. Hopefully it was helpful. I will have the links to both of these down in the description if you're interested. And aside from that, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.